Hey fellow fruit growers, this is Clayton. Just thought I'd do a little video tour this week and show you what's going on in the yard. Here are all the pomegranates. There's this cashmere blend, an unknown. Pink satin. There's the, the big sharp velvet, all full of blossoms. Got a lot of fruit this year. Here you can see that my cleft grafts, there's a Canta Harley, have healed well. And there's a Desertini. Some Meyer lemon. There's a Suriname cherry in a pot. We've got a few berries hiding in there. Decided to try those. Here's the two in one plum. This is Methley and Santa Rosa. Miwa kumquat. There's a persimmon that just hasn't leafed out yet. Here's the large mulberry. This is the Pakistan mulberry. There's a little flying dragon and there's a trifoliate tree I planted for rootstock. Here are the pineapple guavas. These are neat because the flowers, flower petals taste like cotton candy. Getting into the backyard and we've got a row of figs along this side of the house. You see the trench I've dug. This is the side of the new greenhouse. It's a work in progress. More figs along the fence. You see the water line I put in today and yesterday. There's the nice big LSU gold fig. It's a 300 gallon rain tank. There's the Poncho avocado. An Alma fig. The Wilma avocado with a uh, fantastic grafted on the top. We'll see if that leaves out. Another fig, this is the Genoa Loquat I got from John Panzarella, the Genoa Loquat seedling. There's the uh, multiple mandarin tree, it used to be Meyer lemon, I top worked it to several different kinds of mandarins. Next to that is the Republic of Texas orange. It's done very well, it's a, it's a thorny, mean tree, but it grows very, very well without any effort, and it's very cold hardy. Here in front of the play fort, you can see boy number one's flower garden, and these two are the jaboticabas. They haven't fruited yet, but they seem to like it here. Here are the jujubes. This is sugar cane, an unknown from Ed Self, and there's the honey jar. The sugar cane is in bloom. I don't know if you can see all the little yellow flowers. Next to the jujubes is the pongkoa. It didn't put on any flowers or fruit this year. I don't know if it's going to be alternate bearing or, or what, what's, what's going on with it. Here on the play fort, you can see I've got the, uh, the grapevine trained up the, up the rails. I have another one on the other side. I think this would be great if my boys could be up there playing, picking grapes. Over here by the rain tank, there's the Ujukitsu in a big pot. Behind it is the uh, Okitsu Wasa. Here's my Navel orange, Kara Kara navel. The Anna apple tree, you can see all of the fruit with the fruit socks. The other side, set into the strawberry bed. I'll see a few strawberries. And there we go. Got some good ones. That's a peach tree. The two cherries and another peach, all set into the strawberry beds. There's the Dorset golden apple. Interestingly, I had one of my grafts, this is Thompson's County King, or King of Tompkins County, immediately bloomed, the graft immediately bloomed. Uh, but we've got several varieties grafted onto the apple trees. Here we again come to the row of pears. There's a Southern King, a Acres, no, that's a Tenhosui, and an Acres Home. And each one has uh, two or three varieties grafted onto it. Here's our purple martin birdhouse. And beneath the purple martins, I've planted five blackberries in a zigzag pattern. I'm going to train them up those T-posts, and I think that'll be a, be a much better spot than the current blackberry location. You see back behind this pear tree are the composters. Here's the Harado Buntan uh, pumelo, the Wikiwa and Orlando Tangelo tree, and the Bloom Sweet Grapefruit on on Flying Dragon. Here's just an area where I keep all my seedlings and other potted plants I don't have a place for. 
There's the Changshu kumquat, probably my favorite citrus tree. Come back around, there's a abused looking little Sarawak pumelo, miracle fruit. Uh, this is the blood orange tree. This tree has sanguinelli, moro, taraco, ruby, and viniglia sanguino blood oranges all grafted onto it. There's the thousand gallon rain tank. Pretty tough to get back here. Uh, back over here on the side is a uh, seedless kishu mandarin in a pot. There is just a little awari. Here are the blueberry bushes. You can see I have a line coming out of the rain tank. It's a buried line, goes across, pops up over here, and it feeds all eight of these blueberry bushes. These wonderful blueberry bushes that are just loaded with fruit this year. I'll try to get close and let you see just how many berries they have. But they're full, but they, they respond very well to getting nice rainwater on a regular basis. Here are the blackberries. This is kind of a shady spot in the on, in the yard, and I just they don't seem to to like it here as much. So that's why I'm going to move these over to a sunnier place where my seedlings are now. But you can see they're in bloom. There are quite a few quite a few berries on the plants. Sorry, I have to use my hand to sort of focus. There's a nice scarecrow my grandmother gave me to help keep the birds away. Hope it works. There's a variegated calamondin. And just a regular calamondin planted in the ground. They're also very delicious, cold hardy, for the most part, cold hardy citrus. I well, hope you enjoyed this tour. And we'll pick it up again when blueberries are, are ripe.